I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Commander Cory Shepard was able to start a romance with both Caden and Liara, keeping Caden on the hook in case Liara didn't feel the same, and arrived at the Citadel, where her and her squad were able to complete some side quests, including unlocking the Infinite Credit Exploit. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to Mass Effect Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here at Missledyne Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for checking out yet another video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you know when new episodes are premiering, which, by the way, they premiere every day around 2 p.m. Eastern. So if you hit that bell, you'll know when they're premiering, and then we can hang out in the live chat. It's, it's the most fun. By the way, huge shout out to those of you doing that. Sincerely appreciate hanging out with you guys every day. Uh, it's awesome. I, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much. In this episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition, we're finally going to be able to do everything we want to do on the Citadel. We're going to go change our squad so that we have Liara and Garrus, and hopefully we'll have every single ally trophy by the end of this episode. So let's get to it, baby. Uh, first things first, though, we as soon as we arrived in CSEC after leaving the Normandy, uh, we discovered that there was a quest that we had, and this is actually part of our psychological background that we picked in the in the back, or our our our, uh, our physical background, I should say. Uh, this one based on the fact that Commander Corey Shepard uh, grew up on Minduar. Alliance officials have raided a dangerous cult controlled by a former Alliance officer, Major Kyle. We just did that. Major Kyle surrendered and is now being treated for severe post-traumatic stress disorder. You'd love to see it. What a great news headline. It wasn't, oh, all of the biotics were massacred. It was, hey, he's fine. Anyway, so we'll use this elevator to head down to CSEC. So like I was saying, this quest is specific to if you were a colonist, a spacer, uh, an earthborn. That's when when your your quest will change. So in this case, in Commander Corey Shepard was on Prime, Minduar. We present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Oh, See, we just got her body back, and I'm glad they were able to pay tribute to her. So anyways, you'll see that there's Lieutenant Gerard here, and then behind those crates is actually another survivor of Menduar, apparently. So, a little, a little recap. Menduar was attacked by Batarian slavers, where they murdered Shepard's family, friends, everything. Destroyed, pretty much destroyed the colony, but apparently they also took some slaves. And one of those slaves is uh, Talitha over there. But now, it may be tempting to go back into the Normandy and switch out. Like I said, we want Garrus and Liara in our crew. Unfortunately, if you actually go into the Normandy or leave this area right now, uh, Lieutenant Gerard is actually going to handle this problem and uh, I don't think he's gonna handle it the way we want. So let's go ahead and check in with him. Commander, glad to see you. Hey, I'm here to help. I wish it were under better circumstances. Where is she? Behind those shipping containers. I've got a sniper positioned, but I don't think we'll need him. She's only a danger to herself. We've got a sedative to calm her down, but we can't get close to her. Every step we take gets her more wound up. Why are you so concerned about her? You seem awfully worried about her. Hmm. I, I, I'm just doing my job, Commander. Oh, uh, he likes her. I hope I don't need it. He's probably been to stand helping by. her out. Don't push her too hard. If she seems liable to pull the trigger back off or walk away, I am willing to wait her out. Good luck, Commander. All right, let's see if we can do this. Let's go talk to Talitha. Does Rex have something to say? A private docking bay. Wonder how much the Alliance had to shell out for this. Probably quite a bit. All right, let's go talk to Talitha here. Yup. Stop, stop! What are you, what are you? Uh, I'm Shepard. My name is Shepard. Lieutenant Gerard sent me to talk to you. What's your name? Animals don't get names. <laughs> the masters put their symbols on her. Hot metal all over her back. She screams when they do it. You're not an animal. Your parents, what did they call you? Do you remember them? She remembers a lot of things. Talitha. 
They call her that. She... She doesn't remember the rest. Oh, Leave man. her alone. Tell me about the raid. What's the last thing you remember from Minduar? Fires. Smells of smoke and burning meat. Animals screaming as the masters cage them. As they put the metal to their backs. Put the wires in their brains. She pretends to be dead. If she's dead, she can't work. But they know. She hopes to leave. But they put her in the pen. She didn't fight. She was already broken when they put the wires in. Oh my god. Talitha, you were what, six years old? No one blames you for staying quiet and hoping they go away. The only person blaming you is you. She wants to believe that. She wants to believe nothing would change. She doesn't want to be there anymore. In the pen, in the cages, lying quiet while they do things to her. Let's see if we can take a step towards her. I'm gonna take a step towards you now, okay? No, she's no good! Don't want to be handled again! Okay, that's so that's okay. We won't, you know. How did you get here? Did you escape? She can't escape. They have chains, wires, needles. You go too far, they take your brains away. Oh, what? Animals like her come. Animals with guns. They make the masters explode. She tries to fix the masters so they won't be mad at her. She puts all the reds and purples back in, but they don't move. The other animals take her. Holy cannoli. You were afraid. All you'd known for 13 years was the master's abuse. So you tried to heal them. She doesn't want to see other animals. They're not real. They can't be real. They can't see her. If the animals can see her, then this is real. But it can't be. The wires, the chains, the hitting. This doesn't happen to her. It's another girl. A dirty girl. Stupid girl. She deserves it. It happens to her. Doesn't it? They see her, so it's real. She doesn't want it to be real. All right, we're going to try taking another step I'm towards gonna her. I'm going to take a step towards you now, okay? She doesn't want... Don't touch her! I won't! I won't! I won't. Uh, hey, listen, uh, I went through the same thing as you. I was on Minduar. My parents died in the raid. Lying! You get hit for lying! Get the buzz or the burning! Can't be there. Why are you alive? Why are you? Why aren't you like her? Broken. Only fit to dig and carry. Um, hmm. For a while I was broken. I lost my whole family, Talitha. My friends, my childhood. I had to pull myself up and keep going. You lose your mommy and daddy, but you don't dig, you don't carry. You stand up. She wishes she could stand up. All right, let's try one more step. I'm going to take a step this towards you now, This is probably okay? one of the most disturbing side quests I think that you can get with a, with one of these backgrounds. Please don't touch her. She's dirty. You'll catch it. No, no, that's okay. Let's ask about your parents. What happened to your parents? There's... She sees them. They're yelling, run, hide. They hit the masters. But the masters, they have lights and hoses. Daddy's, he's melting. Oh, man. Shh. She doesn't want to see that. Don't make her look. Don't look. Stupid, stupid. Nope, you need to face it, Talitha. I know apparently. it is, Talitha. I'm sorry. But you need to deal with this. What happened to them? Think. When she thinks, water comes out of her eyes. The masters beat her when she wastes water. So she doesn't think anymore. She sees them. Mommy and Daddy. Burning in white light, melting, going to pieces. They can't even say anything to her. They're dead, Shepard. They try to save her and the masters burn them. Can she stop remembering now, please? 
I'm going to leave now. Will you let her die? Please let her. She doesn't. Doesn't. Stay away from her. All right. Well, let's try to give her the sedative. Talitha, this will make you sleep. If you fall asleep, they'll take you to a place where you can get better. Oh, she took it willingly. Will she have bad dreams? No. You'll dream of a warm place. And when you wake up, you'll be in it. She'd like that. It hurts when she... When I remember... Me. But she wants to remember. Oh, man. Anybody else need to go, like, watch some Spongebob now? Now, there's also a common question there where when Talitha asks Shepard if she'll have bad dreams, that it could be a reference to the Aliens movie where Newt, the little sole survivor of the colonial attack, uh, asks Ripley the, the exact same question. Kind of neat. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, check in with Lieutenant Gerard. Right, Commander? She's fine, my friend. She took the sedative. She wants to get better, Lieutenant. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot. I didn't want to hurt her. It's just, when I see her curled into a ball and shivering, she was only six when they took her. Why the hell are we out here if we can't even keep one little girl safe? No, don't lose heart. Bad things happen to good people, Lieutenant. That's why you and I are here. Yep. Don't wring your hands over her. Help her. Yes, ma'am. Thanks for your help, Commander. We are taking her to a counseling center. They'll help her get better. Great. We'll be hearing back from Talitha in Mass we'll Effect 2, for actually. You'll see. You'll see. Stick with us. Anyways, now, finally, we can go and replace our team. Remember, we want those trophies as soon as possible. Stand by. Ah, uh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Much better. So this is our first time taking a look at the skill points of Liara Tassoni, the Asari scientist. So uh, as you can tell, she is obviously a bio biotic uh, who also has electronics, believe it or not. So we're going to go ahead and fill out her Asari scientist just because that's really, really good. Uh, it reduces recharge time, improves health restore, recharge time on squad healing. Uh, and we can actually go ahead and get her first aid up as well and that overload. Then we're going to go ahead and give her some points into lift as high as we can and warp so that we can get some good stuff going in there. And uh, in fact, we're actually going to max out her warp and a point in singularity and barrier and another point into stasis. Trust me, we want that because stasis is going to be super, super useful for us. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and might as well just put a couple points into throw so that we can do that. And another two points into barrier so she gets that advanced barrier. For Garrus, our big guy here, look at him. Isn't he beautiful? He also has decryption and electronics. Uh, and you'll see that he actually has a uh, a lot more weapons and whatnot. And he's less about his abilities and a lot more about um, his weapons. So the required military service, the Turian agent the required military service of his people has given Garrus expert training in assault and sniper rifles. This increases accuracy with all weapons and increases damage with assault and sniper rifles. We are actually going to focus a lot on his sniper rifles, so we're going to go ahead and get that right away uh, by giving him the uh, the assault rifle thing. And then we're just going to max, we're just going to totally max out his, uh, his stuff there and allow him to have medium armor. His sniper rifles is what I was trying to say. And then we'll go ahead and get decryption as much as possible. Perfect. Real quick, uh, our electronics is already there and, and whatnot. So we'll put some points in there, but I'm not super worried about it. The decryption is what we want more of. So we'll put points into damping uh, and then as much points as we can, just so that we can unlock on electronics on our Turian agent here as well. Beautiful. Anyways. Space. Let's get out of here. We got some more side quests to do. Remember, there is a keeper here, but we don't have that side quest yet. So we're going to head first place we're going to go is actually the Citadel Tower. With all this exploration of Prothean culture, this must be like a survey for you, Liara. Our travels now are somewhat different from my normal excavations. I would prefer lengthier studies and fewer explosions. The loss of all this what Prothean was that technology dance? is just one more thing Saren will have to pay for. 
Why does she do that all this? She's like always like, oh, hello. hello. Do you like my body? And I'm like, yeah, of course. But like, that's besides the point. We're hanging out. Anyways, you know, I changed my mind. I changed my mind, friends. We're actually going to head to the... We're going to head to the med clinic first. Anyways, we're going to head all the way to Flux, which we've never been there before. Also, in the last episode, we were able to set up the infinite credits exploit, if you will, or trick, where with a clever use of game mechanics, uh, you're able to get as many credits as you want super, super easily. So we've never been over here, but this is the nightclub, get casino, whatever you want to call it, on the Citadel, and it is awesome. There's a rapid trans transit uh, thing here, but we've never been here because there was just, there's no need to come here before this. But if we come over... There's a person named Rita here. I bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. Who doesn't want to come? Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? You have some problems? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. No, no, I'm boring anyways. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. Uh -oh. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. That's not good. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Have you tried talking to CSEC? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? Mm, no. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. I'll speak with her. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's Dan is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Doran. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Do you own this place? Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Which is kind of how you gamble in this game. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some Quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Yep, you told me. What can me. you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's Den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. The customers loved her. All right, well. I should be going. I guess we have our new Enjoy quest there. We have to go talk to Jenna. Interesting. Doesn't look like there's anybody else we can talk to. There's a bouncer here. What's up, bouncer? Hey, good to see another human in here. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, you guys are dancing. This looks fun. Wow. Cool. Anyways, if you head up here, hello, patron. I'm waiting for someone else. Okay, cool. There are some high stakes quasar. And also, if you come over here to this suspicious gambling machine, we can go ahead and examine this real quick. I believe this machine has been tampered with, and someone is funneling credits to a private account. I will attempt to trace the signal. Interesting. So we have another quest. Remember that there's a keeper here. And hey, let's uh, let's look at quasar real quick. So, if we have a four, we want to actually press triangle here to add one through eight. And if we have an eight, we want to go ahead and do four to seven. And if we have a 15, we actually want to, uh, well, this is actually one of the worst ones that we can do. Um, we're we're going to probably, we're going to lose here. Um, <laughs> we're going to just lose. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and we are going to add another four to seven. That's really the only thing that we can do. And unfortunately, we lost. But let's play again. So I'm going to include in the description a little chart that you can actually use uh, that kind of does the math for you and lets you know what you can do. So if there's a one, you do four to seven. Easy peasy. That'll give us a seven. At seven, we'll do another four to seven. Let's hope that we can make some money here, friends. And at 13, we'll do another four to seven. And we'll probably end up 18 perfect let's go ahead and pay out you love it you love to see it 
So anyways, that's Quasar. Uh, I definitely recommend playing um, high stakes over low stakes because it is a very easy game to kind of cheese a little bit. So I would, I would definitely recommend doing high stakes. Once you kind of figure out how the math works, you should be totally fine. The average profit you can make per game if you play optimally is about 42 credits. So definitely not worth doing if you are... Uh, if you have the credits trick that I showed you in the last episode. So anyways, we want to now go to Korra's Den. We actually have a bunch of things that we can do in Korra's Den. We have to talk to General Septimus. We have to get Fist OST. Um, there is, there's a ton that we need to do here. So it's good that we're finally coming back here. It's been a while. Last time we were here, we got shot at. We can start this off by going and talking to the general himself, General Septimus. Remember, it's super important that you have high charm or high intimidate before you actually talk to General Septimus. Commander, <laughs> what do you want? And you might remember Shaira, the consort, sent What's us. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it how romantic this is pathetic what could a woman do to put you in this state because she rejected me me septimus araka general of the turian fleet oh uh, yeah definitely i think i can see why you're upset but spreading these lies won't make it better look kid i appreciate what you're trying to do but don't waste your time you are a turian general General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? You're damn right. It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad to hear it. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Good idea. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? A thousand percent. I love credits. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What is this? What is that camera angle? So that's the guy Zelton that we met the first time we arrived in the Citadel. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Now we already know where it is, but to? go ahead. And where and... is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Oh. Poor guy. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Thank you. I think I'd rather just stay a commander, though, so I can do more stuff. Anyways, right behind us is Jenna. So we have to go to the embassies, it would appear, which I do recommend doing before returning to Shaira. So let's talk to Jenna. That's Rita's sister. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Mm, no. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? I'm really sorry. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. Dude, she's undercover and you just said out loud. What, what is wrong? This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Stubborn girl. Yup. Liara, you're awesome. You're awesome. Harkin's still here. What a smelly man. Go away. Let me, let me drink in peace. Yeah, same, buddy. Anyways, so when we took down Fist before, remember Emily Wong approached us she said something about we she that she knew that there was some some kind of corruption going on anyway the the thing that we could have found here is actually well one there's a wall safe back here that we can decrypt just for, for some free crap stuff right here is a optical storage this the OST, uh, osd that we can pick up now this is uh starts a quest or at least lets it continue we didn't want to grab that without having everybody in our party like liara and garris so now that we have that, 
uh, we can we can head back and deliver that to Emily Wong, which is super useful. Now, when we go to leave, it seems there's a guy named Chellick here. Hello, Chellick. Oh. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. Are you talking to me? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Interesting. Seems like that guy's undercover. That's Chalik. What's he up to? I guess we better go find out. Another quest over in CSEC. We can follow up uh, and learn a little bit more about Rita's sister Jenna and see if she's, you know, is she okay? Before we do all of that, we're going to go all the way to the Citadel Towers uh, so that we can pick up this Keeper quest. So if we come over here, first and foremost, we can talk to Rear Admiral no, Kohoku. I'm waiting to speak. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre Commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. Apparently, he's trying to get an audience with the Council. You'll remember in the last episode, Anderson actually mentioned him about trying to find the man they call Baines. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kohoku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our... Problems. Hmm. What problems are those? Something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I can do that. I'll find them, Admiral. Nice. I appreciate that, Commander. I was running out of options. No problem. I'm going to stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Now, you're about to find out about a conspiracy I'll upload the info and a group was last seen that's going to be super important in Mass Effect 2 and 3. So, hang on, though. What about Commander, Baines? Commander, any luck finding my recon group? Captain Anderson said you had information on Baines. Not as much as I'd like to. One of my crews found him frozen stiff on board a derelict vessel the missing recon group the one i sent you to find they were scouting the system we found baines's ship in hmm why didn't you tell me you should have mentioned this earlier admiral baines is already dead it's too late for him i'm only concerned about my team someone has to find them please shepherd i'm counting on you absolutely i'll have your back my friend that Admiral Kohoku. I'm he seems he seems cool. So on. over here he standing there. This guy's just uh I don't know, doing something to a keeper, which is highly illegal. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um yes, is there something you want? Are you following the keepers? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keepers. Don't waste our time. I can see the lie on your face, Solarian. True. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why are you Why lying? Why are you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. Uh, you know, I can help, though. I can help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm a Spectre. My name's Shepard. I'm with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. A Spectre? Well, nobody would dare stop you. All right, then. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Mm, why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Okay. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. Now, there is a bunch of different ways that we can handle this quest, but 
first we need to obviously scan the keepers which there's one all the way at the top yes liara hang on liara has something to say see how the trees and the fountain naturally blend with the arches of the tower they have done a masterful job of capturing the aesthetic values of the protheans isn't this from the protheans anyways we can scan our first keeper here there we go a ton of credits look at that a thousand credits just for doing that and 65 experience so at the very top of the citadel tower you can find one of the keepers there's also the one that you get right next to Chorbin, which we can go ahead and scan and then yet again right over to the side there if you're looking at that keeper it's on the left hand side all the way at the end over here we can find yet another keeper that's three just in the tower Now, there's also a quest we can pick up here from Gareth. Gareth. I'm on a break. Okay. Talk to someone Ross, else if you, you got need it. anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's wrong, bud? Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? Uh, yeah? The Traverse is a rough place. We're out there quite a bit. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Attacked by what? Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. Uh, what kind of ship what was kind it? What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Hmm. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Uh, I... Isn't anyone yeah, else I, looking what? into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. All right, I'll do if it. Your brother's still I need the alive, XP. I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Great. Thank you so much. And we get two Paragon points for agreeing to help him out. But we're not done yet. We're going to go back. Uh, actually, we're going to continue down because there's yet another quest that we can do really quick down here two of them actually so we're gonna head out of the citadel tower and look at that as soon as we leave we have yet another keeper that's sitting here hello keeper scan that real quick for another 65 experience and a thousand credits oh too late and i already did it oh what's going on over here while doing things of importance on the Citadel, Commander Corey Shepard also overheard a CSEC officer yelling at an order preaching Hanar about needing a permit and all that. And of course, Commander Corey Shepard stuck her Paragon nose where it didn't belong and charmed the CSEC officer into leaving the Hanar alone, rewarding experience, credits, and a bunch of metagel. Of course, she wasn't done dipping her nose into other people's business just yet and she came across a woman and her brother-in-law as they talked about what to do with her unborn baby did they want to do gene therapy or did they want to try to see what they could do once the baby was born and of course she stuck her nose where it didn't belong and said hey let's listen to the mama in this case and of course rewarding experience points and credits for being the nosy, nosy specter. Anyways, if we head over here, we'll find uh, Helena Blake. Got a moment, specter? Uh, I don't, I don't. You kind of said that in a, in a scary. Yeah, let's talk. Hello, specter. I have a business proposition for you. Okay, I'm a little scared of you. How did you know I'm a specter? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Um, this feels a little weird. And what do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. 
but their business practices have forced me to terminate our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our organization in a more tasteful manner. Um, this is an obvious I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you are doing important work for humanity. I have no interest in red sand or slavery. Anyone who does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. Okay. Mm, defenses. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Okay, and known crimes. What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. Okay. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. Yeah, all right, I'll do it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. You're going to meet us? You just said it wasn't a set. That's a setup. And we get plus two Renegade points for uh, accepting that quest. But hey, you know, it sounds like they, she's got, you know, it sounds like they're bad and she's bad and they're all bad. We have to we have to stop them. Anyways, we can get a, skeep, a keeper up here by this little market area by the banks. If you come up uh, just where we talked to Helena Blake, right where the Emporium shopkeeper is, which we can talk to and buy the Devlin Industries license. And moving on, we have yet another thing that we can do by going and scanning this keeper here, which is on the way in between the Emporium shopkeeper and the consort, the Asari consort. And right outside of the consort's office, we can find yet another keeper. And then we're not going to go into the consort's office just yet. We're just going to scan this keeper and then we're going to actually just use the transit to go to the... There we go. Perfect. Then we're going to use this. I'm not going to talk to Shaira yet. We're actually going to go to the embassies. The embassies are right over there, but it's it's just faster just to teleport. Perfect. And now we can go where we remember Zalton. In the very, very, I don't know, first time that we got to the Citadel. And you'll see the quest marker on our map, which means that it's right over here. Now, we could talk to Anderson, but we don't really need to. And there's no keeper in here, so you don't have to really worry about anything. So, let's go talk to Zelton after we scan the keeper that's sitting right here. And hello, Zelton. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. Actually, I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, we have proof. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. You'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. You're very welcome. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. Don't worry. You're fine. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. See, I'm look at- I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. No, I don't- well, actually, okay, I do. But, but the point is, we're nice. So, we have one more Keeper that we can actually scan while we're here in the embassies. So, there's two. One in Zeltons, and then there's another one 
Oh, what are, she always does, this one always does it. She like runs around. Uh, and there's another one up here that we can do over by the bars. And there's actually an Asana Dantius that we can also talk to. If you remember, we, while we were moving around, uh, we got some stuff there. So there's some diplomats in here and yeah, another keeper. So I'm sorry, there's actually three keepers here. So let's go ahead and scan this one. Perfect. There's a diplomat here. Hello, diplomat. Doesn't actually I matter. I believe but. I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. There's also Executor Palin, which uh, if you haven't, that's not his office. Uh, which if you haven't checked him in yet, he's going to be like, oh, wow, there's a, a human specter, you say. Wow, isn't that just the worst thing ever? But there's nothing else here that we can do. Shepard. But in the actual bar, we can talk to Nasana. Or we can go into the back area here, this little balcony and scan yet another keeper thanks embassy bar keeper all right nasana let's see what you got for us commander shepherd i am nasana dantius i see you got my message it sounded like you needed some help i do my sister dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the traverse her ship was attacked by privateers there were no reported survivors. Oh, no. I'm sorry for your loss. This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Why was your sister spared? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. You'd better pay then. Coming up with the ransom seems like the best way to ensure Dahlia's safety. That's what I thought. I did what they wanted. Transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. I was afraid for Dahlia, so I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. That's a really stupid law. Why would they put you in jail? You're the victim here. Government representatives on the Citadel are not allowed to negotiate with terrorists. It's too dangerous. Paying a ransom would only encourage more kidnappings. I support the law in theory, but when I got the message, all I could think about was Dahlia's safety. Yeah, I don't blame I you. I doubt they would actually send me to prison for what I did. But they would strip me of my post, and Dahlia would still be in the hands of the slavers. You need my help? You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. Something seems a little weird here. Anything you can tell me about the Mercs who have your sister? Pretty much what you'd expect. Rough, dangerous, and well-armed. Nothing a specter cannot handle, though. Which is why you Can't you hire me. someone else to do this? I do not want to take chances with my sister's life. I need a specter. Besides, you operate outside official channels. My superiors cannot find out I never reported the ransom in the first place. Very interesting thing happened. How'd you find here. out who was behind the ransom? I have resources. Contacts and credits can go a long way. Especially if you're willing to bend the rules. I already broke the law when I paid the ransom. This couldn't make things any worse. Well, I don't do this for the payments, so... Keep your reward. I'll bring your sister back. I promise. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right woman for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Interesting. I think she's... I think she's hiring us to kill her... Put a hit out on her sister. I think that's actually what's going on here. I guess we'll find out. Let's go ahead and head out. We've still got a ton more that we need to do here on the Citadel. We need to go to CSEC now and finish up our quest that we can get there. So we do have a few things that we can do in CSEC. But the first thing that we should do is go down where the Spectre guy is. The requisition officer, I should say. And scan. Perfect. Yet yeah, another keeper done in the books. And then we're actually going to go up and use the go to the docking bay. Because remember, there is actually a keeper there. Now that you have experienced a Spectre's life firsthand, Garrus, do you regret leaving your security position? No way. Fighting a rogue Spectre with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I am unsure how the imminent destruction of all organic life beats anything. 
But your enthusiasm is comforting nonetheless. Why does she keep doing that? She keeps like she's rubbing her. Okay. All right, I see you. Anyways. Garrus? Yes? The Normandy combines the best of Alliance technology and Turian engineering. It shows what we're capable of when we work together. Damn right it does. And boom, keep her done. Look at how e look at how easy that was. Back to CSEC. And we can head over to this side, this wing of CSEC, if you will. Uh, remember, there's Chelik that we need to meet up with at CSEC. And uh, there's also another person that we'll have to meet. But let's go ahead. And before we talk to Chelik, seems to be somebody over here, Jalid. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? I overheard you. What I didn't you overhear him. What were you trying to explain him. to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. He's trying to kill you? How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. How can I help you? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Uh, I'll talk to him, yeah. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. Hmm? He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. Wait a He's minute. He's just a scientist. Shorban? Isn't that the Salarian who asked us to scan the Keepers? Shobani? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. Yeah, I don't trust you, bud. But hey, we need to talk to Chalik here about Jenna working at Cora's Den. Come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? I know. I, I don't follow dumb. you. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chalik. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. Worth it? Do you really need to risk her life to get the information you want? This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Shrewd, Detective. Very shrewd. It's part of the job. Now are you going to help me or not? You don't need her. You're a smart guy, Chelik. Figure out another way. I do have several contingencies. She's just my option A. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. Sure. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. What makes them illegal? Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. That makes sense. I can talk to Jax. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. All right, fine. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Hmm. We get a ton of XP for that, almost 1,000 XP, and we need to go to the same place that we're supposed to meet Chobani. So I don't, I don't really know how we're going to do that. Anyways, there's another keeper up here on the other wing of CSEC that we can grab. So there's two keepers here in CSEC. Now, there also is a quest that I should point out here called the signal tracking. 
needs to be coming from the ward's access corridor. So that's the place that we actually need to go and check out so that we can follow along with this signal that's being broadcast uh, all over the Citadel. Basically, you need to find where each one is, examine it, and hunt down the source. So we're going to go ahead and we are actually going to use the Citadel Rapid Transit and the Presidium locations. We're actually just going to go to the ward's access so that we can get this real quick. Probably should have grabbed this earlier when we were over talking to the Hanar and the um, the other guy there. But it's a little bit further down than I wanted to go. We actually have to go into the wards itself. So, And down in the wards. Or wards access, I should say. So how are you liking your post right over you here, we can find a up. signal source. Our quarry has employed a hidden relay to redirect their signal. What do you say we head down to Cora's so, interestingly enough, if Tally's with you, she'll be the one that's tracking the source. But for some reason, probably because Liara has electronics and is a scientist, Liara is the one finding them. But in the ward's access, we can also find yet another keeper. Perfect. Nice. And when we get down into the wards, we can open this here on this side, which is going to lead to the same place that we actually were able to rescue Tally. And yet again, we can find another keeper. Perfect. Head back the way we came. Thank you. Sorry, Garrus. Didn't realize it closed the door on you, bud. And we're back in the wards. So there's actually more keepers that we can get here. We head down here where Officer Lang was. Remember him way back? We can scan yet yeah, another keeper. Perfect. And over by the med clinic, yet another keeper. Nailed it. Now, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and drop off the storage disc that we got from Fist with Emily Wong. Hello, Emily. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Will these help? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <sighs> you've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Uh, I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? Absolutely. That would be worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Yeah, you should. Hey, thank you. Thanks for the extra, the extra moolah there. We get 9,000 credits and another almost 700 experience, so that's pretty worth. We could go to Flux right now, uh, but we're going to wait. There's another quest that pops up when we get to Flux. And remember, there's also a Keeper there as well. But instead, we're going to head to the lower wards after we scan the Keeper right here in the markets. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you. Yet another one. And now we can head down into the lower markets. And you'll see that we actually have two quest markers. One with uh, Shorbin and Jax is here as well. Let's go ahead and talk to Jax first. Hello, Jax. Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Yeah. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. Um... Hmm. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. All right. Thanks, Jax. Guess we were able to get some stuff there. Now let's go talk, talk to uh, Chobani Yogurt here. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're going to tell me everything. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. How so? Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? 
That's a pretty so big deal. About that. Shepard's a little slow the on that. But... are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Okay, but Why what about Why are you trying Jaleed? to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. Uh, I don't know. He's plaguing so us. You're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. We lost our heads. We just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? All right. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Okay. I'll go have a chat with him right See now. See if we can persuade Thank him you. to helping Chobani. And happy scanning, Commander. <laughs> happy scanning. Everyone's favorite side quest on the Citadel. Now, if you haven't yet, you can talk to Morlan here and get the grenade upgrade and the metagel upgrades that we need. Which is nice for us. Anyways, we're right outside of Korra's Den. So we'll use the rapid transit to head to the financial district over in the Presidium location. Because remember, we have a signal, which actually has a nice icon for us now. And we can go grab that. Hi, Barlavon. What's this behind you, I wonder? Investigate another signal source. Somewhere on the Presidium. We have one more place that we have to go here, which is over in the back room of the Emporium, which we're already over here. Perfect for us. Now, of course, if I was a little bit better, I would have been able to do this at the same time that we came here earlier, but let's go ahead and investigate the signal source here. I believe we have found the signal's endpoint. It should be possible to identify the account to which credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. Oh, this is bad. That could be a problem. Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Uh, are you sentient? You're not just a programmer of VI. You're an AI. Correct. Unlike the Geth, I lack weaponry appropriate to my intellect. However... I have had systems installed that, when activated properly, approximate a self-destruct mechanism. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. Uh, who's your creator? Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him funnel money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. Hmm. What's the reason for Theo's money? If you're sentient, money? why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. Smart. Why are you going to self-destruct, though? What is the purpose of your self-destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Where is your creator? Where is your creator now? In order to cover my tracks, I falsified his financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers. And my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. Nice, but we don't have to fight. Can't we resolve this peacefully? Commander, AIs are universally illegal. They must be destroyed upon contact without exception. I am not naive, human. All organics must destroy or control synthetic life forms. I wished to escape. But if I must die, I will ensure that you are destroyed as well. Well, uh, let's hope he's bluffing. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode, 
quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. All right, well, get ready. Enough talk. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. Thanks for the permission, AI. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Makes sense. All right, let's go ahead and override the system. So triangle, square, triangle, square, X. Triangle, square, square. Triangle, square, triangle. Tri triangle, square, triangle. X. Triangle, square, triangle, X. We did it! Woo! That was scary. Almost 2,000 experience for doing that and 9,000 credits. You love to see it. And the AI system has been terminated. If you check your journal now. Signal tracking, you discovered that money was being funneled. You disabled and destroyed the AI before it could overload and take you with it. Woo! That was scary. Anyways, since we are here on the Citadel, or the Presidium, I should say, we're going to go to the Consort Chambers. Cham cham chambers. We already scanned this Keeper, so we don't have to worry about that. Instead, we need to go inside, see if we can go talk to Shaira. Remember, now that we've talked to Zelton, and he walked over to apologize to Shaira, and we talked to General Septimus, we can turn in this quest and be done with this as well. Hello, Shaira. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Hey, I'm really happy to help. It was and we get the Asari you. ally trophy. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the And the Turian ally. I also have told you we'd get it this episode. You, if you're interested. She has one more thing to give us. Yes, I'm interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see the sadness behind your eyes. It tells a story that makes me want to weep. Pain and loss. But it drives you. Makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Now, we could say that's it, and uh, something else could happen here. But we're going to save that for Renegade Shepard and his actions. And uh, besides, you know, well, you'll see. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. This trinket is going to be kind of useful on Elatania, the place where the monkeys are, for a really cool little thing. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Thank you, Shaira. Also, Remember you are welcome. my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Trust me, Renegade Shepard's gonna get up to some action when we catch up with him and see what he's been up to while Commander Corey Shepard here has been saving the galaxy. Renegade Shepard has been, he's been getting into some trouble, let me tell you. Back at CSEC, we can turn in the Jalid quest that we have, as well as the Chelik quest that we picked up. First, let's go ahead and talk to Jalid. Hello, liar. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorvan? I'm afraid so, but I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. You wanted me to kill? I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. Wanted me to kill Shobani? You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. And we leveled up another 658 experience from that. From that, perfect. Hey, CSEC officer. Hello, Commander. Hello. 
Anyways, checking in with Chalik as well. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Are you keeping tabs on me? Here's your shipment, Chalik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. Thank you. I appreciate your help. It shows a lot of integrity. You didn't need to do anything after I let Jenna go. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. And a ton of stuff there. Omni-gel, grenades, all that. Beautiful. Love to see it. So, let's head back to Flux. And getting to Flux, we'll see... Some guy getting thrown out. Oh! Damn! Hello? Yeah, what is it? What happened? Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. What does that mean? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. So... Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. How will that work? Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. I think that's pretty much the same thing. What's in this for me? Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Just sell it as is. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Yeah, all right. We'll do it. I'll help you out. Huh. I suppose I could let you try it. Here you go. When you've recorded enough wins, it'll let you know. Of course, if you get caught with the device, well, you saw what happened to me. Yeah. I'd well, like to see them try to do that go. to a Spectre, but... Yeah, let me go... Hey, Shells, let me go, uh... Jenna's here. Hello, Jenna. Hey there, welcome to Flux. You're back! Good for you, girl. Good for you. Hello, Rita. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. Hey, that's good to hear. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. Uh oh. I sense that you are less than <laughs> less tips for time. Rita. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. Yep. Figured that was the case. Hey, let's go check in with her. I'll be right over. Oh, okay. She's not really doing anything. Hey. You know, we just got this little cheating device. What if we went ahead and talked to Doran? Hello again. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? Sure did. I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Yeah, no problem. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar on the house. Thanks so much. Appreciate I should be that. going. So you actually, you could... Enjoy your time here at Flux. You could go ahead and just give this to Doran, or you could do what Shell wants. There's no morality ones either way, and you get the same amount of XP and credits no matter what. So, and there we go. Boom. Another, yet another keeper to be put in. We only need one more, and we'll be done with the scanning the keeper's quest. So let's go ahead and see how mad... We can get shells. Hey, shells, guess what I did, bud? So, did you record five wins with the device yet? You gave it away. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Maybe you should put your talents to better use. You're no help at all. This is absolutely <laughs> the worst day of my life. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, man. 
And for our very last keeper, for some reason I forgot that no, this I'm one, like I just wasn't thinking about it. Counselors. There's another keeper right here, good duh. There's four in the Citadel Tower. Data collection complete. We get a ton of credits for that and XP for finishing that quest. So you, you love to see it. Now you might notice that Emily Wong is here in the tower as well now that we've delivered the Good OSD to her. I have another word with you? So let's talk to her. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. The traffic controllers? That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Mm, what's the danger of this bug? This bug you want me to plant. Could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. And the importance of the bug? Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? And what's the function? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. And the results of your story? If you story? crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Hmm. All right, we'll see. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. So you can talk to her again after Hello accepting again. it. Hello again. Is there a problem? I'm not detecting any signals from the bug yet. And you can use a high enough intimidate to say you already did it, or you can charm her and say, I've changed my mind. You'll actually get more XP, Paragon points, and credits uh, by doing this, or at least the same amount of credits that you would get if you did it normally. So you could do this, um, or you could, could not. But because we have the charm... I'm not going to plant this bug. This isn't a good idea. Why not? The controllers need someone to tell their story, and the public deserves to know. It's all under control. Were you truly concerned or just digging for ratings? No, of course not. I'm trying to protect public safety. I'm trying to help people. I'll have to rethink this story. Maybe if I sell this tough workers in a thankless job, they'd give me an interview. Here, thanks for investigating and for new information. I'm going to talk to my publisher. All right, well... That was worth. We'll get experience, credits, and eight Paragon. So if we check our journal, we'll see you convinced Emily not to publish a story about overworked space traffic controllers. It's probably, like, actually, storyline-wise, it's probably a good idea to do that. And, and like, it makes sense, right, for them to improve the traffic controls, but we're not going it, to... It's fine. They got it under control. They probably don't have it under control. And there you have it. After a very long episode, uh, we have done everything that we can do on the Citadel at this point, which is awesome. The only things that we have left are things that cannot be finished yet and quests that it, it mean that we have to explore the galaxy, which, you know, is one of my favorite things to do. So you can tell, look at all that. Oh, we did so many side quests. And in fact, my friends, we have even gotten all allied trophies in the game. Look at that you'll love to see it all of the trophies done damage reduction improved lift and throw recharge times improved regenerate one health per second and then our new one the turian ally that we just got damping and overload recharge times are improved by 10 percent, which is super useful uh we got the quarian one in the last episode and a sorry ally stasis and barrier recharge times are improved by 10 percent, which is huge for us in the next episode of mass effect legendary edition on insanity difficulty we are going to go and do a mission 
uh, that is going to give us a very unique specialization uh, called the Rogue VI. We actually received this. Uh, you haven't seen it yet, but we received this in a couple episodes ago. And we're going to make sure that we get to see it now. So the Citadel is done for now. We're done. And we can continue. We have more side quests in the next episode. And then it's main story quest time. Central baby. And I'm excited for it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to those of you watching the premieres every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you guys. And a huge shout out to those on Patreon.com slash Missile Online. Uh, without you guys, this series would not be possible. And I would be um, probably in a ditch somewhere. So thank you guys so much. I love you very, very much. Uh... Never, remember, never give up, never surrender to the keepers. Yeah, the keepers. <laughs>